how to make your first $1,000 online. Now, if you're watching this video right now, you know that I teach people how to set up a sustainable and profitable internet business online. And the way we do it is through proper business. And for that to happen, it requires many hours of work and it requires some commitment and some lesson. But today in this video, I just want to show you the simplest way for you to raise funds, to make some money so you can invest in education, so you can invest in setting up a business, and more importantly, so you can move forward and get some motivation. Because when you get your first sale, it is very, very highly motivated. Now, the one thing that you must understand before you get started making money online is to understand that there is just a few ways of doing it. We have affiliate marketing, we have selling on eBay, we have selling on Amazon, we have uh, AdSense, uh, advertising and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna focus on just one simple trick and it's boring but it works, okay? Here's what I want you to understand. In order for you to first make your first thousand dollars, you must go and understand you need to sell a product, okay? You need a product to get started or a service or something that you can offer as a value and in exchange for money. Now here's the understanding that you must follow though. Now, most of you, if you're watching this video right now, you have not started a business that you have no idea what you want to sell, then here's what I want you to do. Really go into your garage, go into your house, check out what you have for sale. Most American household, you have about $50,000 worth of crap that you no longer use. You're just keeping it because of sentimental value. You're keeping it to collect this. Uh, I'm going to show you an example right there. If I'm not using any of this, uh, it will be for sale, okay? So you're going to find something to sell, okay? Go to your house, find out maybe you have a baseball card, maybe you have a trading card game. I just saw it uh, on the news, a Charizard trading card from Pokemon. It's selling for like big money on, on, on the show Pawn Star, which is crazy. So go and look for something that you can sell. Um, depending on which country you're in, I am sure in your country you have like a classified ad or eBay kind of thing, kind of website, kind of platform that is huge, okay? Now in Malaysia, we have eBay, we have Lelong, we have uh, Muda, we have uh, Carousel, okay? If you're watching this video, you have no idea what I'm talking about. It's because you need to go to your country and find out. Maybe in the US, um, Craigslist is huge, you can sell on eBay. eBay is extremely big in America compared to Asia. So if I am in Malaysia right now, I would sell using Carousel. But if I'm in the United States, I'll use eBay, I'll use, uh, uh, there are a few like those apps on the phone. There's a ton of them that are coming and going, you can check them out that you can sit by and sell uh, on your phone. And you just sell those products. And the reason why I want you to sell the crap that you have at home and, and turn them into money is because there's a few lessons here when you do it, okay? You're not doing it just for that $1,000. Remember that, you know, don't just do it for the $1,000. I mean, the $1,000 is a great payoff, but look at the lesson involved. Because you're gonna write the description of the product, okay? You're gonna describe what a product is, what year it's from, and why it's valuable, why you're selling it. That's copywriting. You're learning how to write copy by selling products, okay? And secondly, when you're selling the product, you're dealing with buyers or prospects. So you understand who's gonna be more targeted, who's gonna be more qualified. So when you do your business, you will realize that they are, you know, this is very similar to a real life business selling your own products because there will be people who are qualified and there are people who are not qualified. There are people that are just gonna waste your time. There are people that are serious about making a purchase. Okay, so you learn all that kind of stuff. You also learn how to close sales. You also learn how to sell through messages, through maybe you jump on a call with that person. Okay, you learn shipping and labeling and you know, uh, all the costs involved and uh, you learn how to do your own uh, revenue minus cost revenue minus expenses equals profit you understand the basics of business just by selling your own stuff your own crap that you have at home now I get this idea actually from Gary Vaynerchuk where I saw a video of him actually going to garage sales and actually just buying stuff undervalued stuff I saw he was buying like Nerf guns and toys and action figures and you know a bunch of board games and all that kind of stuff and he started selling them uh, online and he make a profit doing it. There was someone that I found on YouTube actually did over twenty thousand dollars in one month doing this. Okay, so when I when I tell my students about this, one of my students actually go out there and start buying vinyl albums. Okay, I don't know if you remember from the old classical days where we play music with vinyl, where you have a big huge vinyl disc that takes up the entire. A briefcase that you have, you put it onto the, the vinyl record player and it plays and the music plays. Okay, today we can play music out of our phone but in the back then you use a vinyl record player and there was this uh, shop that's selling vintage stuff, they're selling vinyl for like uh, in, in US dollars I think it's about five dollars to ten dollars, not much, it's very little money and a lot of the bands are not super famous, a lot of the music are not super famous, but some of them are pretty good, they are like from the 80s, rock and roll, and 
what happened is one of that student he actually went in there and bought 10 vinyl records okay he put it up online for sale and he actually sold seven of them okay he made a total profit of two thousand one hundred uh, dollars which is absolutely insane okay so this is one example that you can follow okay now of course there's a lot of factors here but those factors you learn because you're buying and selling because this is something that you learn when you actually sell something you actually become a mini business owner as i call it okay so go try this out go to your garage go to other people's garage sell check out what's out there go to flea market check out what's cheap sell it on the local platforms make some money use it as a learning lesson if you make money great fantastic congratulations you learned something as well okay i hope you learned something from this video see you on the next one